Dry bean growing is a fairly straightforward process, similar to growing other bean crops and grain crops. First, the beans are pulled out of the soil with special bean knives and pulling machinery, as seen in this video. Bean pulling is generally done first thing in the morning when the plants are slightly damp to prevent shattering of the pods. Once pulled, generally the plants are then windrowed with this special piece of equipment that helps to shake the soil off the plants a bit and places all of the plants in a fluffy row. Once in this windrow, the plants are left for about a day in the field to dry. And the next morning, when the plants are damp again, the windrower is brought back to the field to move the beans for a second time. A dry bean combine is a specialized piece of equipment designed to pick up windrows of beans and thresh them all in one pass. The combine moves along the wind roll and revolving pickup teeth near the ground grab the pulled bean plants and flip them onto a metal deck and a series of wooden slats with special teeth that are all connected to a revolving bell crank that moves back and forth to carry the beans into the throat of the machine. Bean combines have two spike two cylinders. The secondary cylinder turns a little bit faster than the primary cylinder to ensure complete threshing. The threshed beans then are dropped into a special pan and then onto a reciprocating double cleaning screen. Clean beans are conveyed across the bottom of the combine to an elevator then transported upward into the grain tank. The grain tank can tip sideways so that it can be emptied into a wagon or truck. Bean combines are quite long to make sure that the beans become completely threshed from other plant material. Beans are generally harvested between 16 and 18 percent moisture to minimize damage such as splitting of the beans during harvest. Hence, it'll require drying so that the beans can reach the proper storage moisture of 13%. In the video, this system uses stacked burlap bags and a large box fan to dry beans. The coarse weave of the burlap allows for air passage through the beans. Cleaning beans is an important aspect of preparing beans for sale. In the video, an air screen seed cleaner is shown that uses two reciprocating screens and air to clean the seed. Generally, these seed cleaning devices have a hopper that holds the grain. The grain is dropped evenly across the top of the reciprocating screen. The beans should drop through the holes on the top screen while chaff, plant debris, and larger rocks move across the screen into a catch basin. This is called the scalping process. Once the beans hit the lower screen, this time the small debris, dust, chaff, soil, drops through the screen, leaving the retained dry beans to leave the machine clean. This is called the shifting process. Just prior to the beans leaving the second screen, Air is used when the, when the grain comes off the lower screen and it blows fine dust and light seed out of the final product. Then the grain drops into a catch basin. Once beans are dry and have been cleaned, they will go through the final pick out process. There will be malformed, discolored, and generally poor looking beans that escape the air screen cleaner. Larger scale growers use electric eye technology to sort the beans. Everyone else does this by hand. In the video, there is a one person treadle powered bean belt. This type of equipment is from years gone by, but is still used on many small farms today.